Hello sewing friends, if you're looking for a sewing update, ideas for projects and what to sew, then this is the episode for you. Hello everybody, it feels like a while since I uh, came on and did a little update with you. Um, last Sunday I didn't do one because I was poorly and luckily I've got a pre-recorded vlog to share with you about um, <laughs> my modelling exploits which if you haven't seen do go and give a watch to um, and before that it was like me made May and uh, so fruity so I realise it's been two weeks since I've uh, done a sewing update for you you might be able to hear it still a bit in my voice I'm still not 100% but I'm back I'm here and I'm just trying to oh that's better isn't it and um, <clears throat> yeah there it is I haven't touched anything sewing related in a week and a half. I can't believe it. It's the longest time since I can't remember when. Um, I got properly wiped out by one of these bugs. I realise I haven't been properly wiped out like that since 2021. So I've done pretty well. Oh, let's cover that boring thing up. Um, but yes, it has absolutely wiped me out. The last thing I did was at the Southern Social two Saturdays ago and I did a load of cutting out. I didn't even take my sewing machine. It shows I wasn't feeling particularly well. And that was it. I dumped the stuff and I came home. Really came down the next day. It took me a whole week off work. And uh, yeah, I'm back now. I'm beginning to gear back up again. And this is the first thing I'm doing is coming on and talking to you all. And then hopefully tomorrow I'll get some sewing done again. I was so poorly that I didn't even want to sew, even if I could. Um, and I know I'm probably poorly when my brain is as wiped out as my body. Normally my brain's still going, but this time it was not. So what was I up to? What did I get up to? And what's coming? So let's start with some things that I did make, which I hadn't had a chance to show you. So if you have seen my modelling exploits, you saw in there that I went shopping at Roy's in Leicester and I got this jersey which is super soft and so I made it into an LB pullover. Purposely did the stripes on the neckline the other way. So you've got the drop shoulder. I didn't bother pattern matching because I only bought a metre so to get it all out of it. And then I did some ribbed cuffing for the wrist. So that's a perfectly joyful, wonderful throw on thin jumper for the summer and then in a similar vein I'd got this fabric which is it is like t-shirt weight but did another LB pullover type and then did this time did pink ribbing at the neck haven't decided on the cuff yet because there is definitely still weather where you want a long sleeve but you want it to be thinner so these are perfect for that and this with all the pops of pink easy to wear with like summery colour trousers and things like that but that's it in terms of makes that I haven't showed you. I did make this a while ago and forgot to show you this. When I was reviewing, I found that I had made this. So at one of the virtual socials, I did this. And actually, Sam of So Let's Sparkle with Sam, she and I actually sewed up our sagebrush tops at the same time. Now, she's made it quite a few times. This was my first time. And it was quite interesting our different workflow as we made it sort of live together so I made it in this fabric which has oh I'm just looking um it's a fairly large print and I know that um, some of you were concerned whether a large print would work I didn't do the frill on the front but I did do the gathering I did the full-on puff sleeve but I haven't put the bottom into elastic so actually I quite liked it out I will put some video in and at the back I did leave the gap but I didn't need a button because it goes over my head so I just sort of it's nice to have that gap for movement but just closed it off at the top so I don't know how I feel about the sagebrush I know a lot of people love it I think I might prefer the Romy lantern sleeve um, and the, the Nautilus top um but the jury's out i think i need to wear it a bit um but i'm not going to force myself to love something 
I can see why other people like it and it is a nice sew but there it is I've tied it and sometimes you just got to try these things so at the Sun Social I didn't take my sewing machine or my overlocker I just took things to cut out so that included patterns that needed the pieces cut out the paper pattern um, and fabric and I really quite enjoyed just having a day like that um, because it felt I could really enjoy chatting to everyone I just didn't feel so like I don't know so intense so what did I cut out so I cut out the Bertha cardigan which is Tilly in the buttons so I've cut it out in this gorgeous blue knit fabric from Sew Me Sunshine I have this in green as well I've cut it out in the blue to start with because I want to see how the cardigan goes because if I like it I want to do it with these three together and um, it's got like a raglan sleeve but then a triangly piece at the front and a piece at the back so I thought it would work really well with like this in the front pieces and then maybe that in the arms and then this is the, the band around the front so I thought those would work but I wanted to do it in a plainer one with something that I didn't mind if it didn't 100% work before I use it in these gorgeous bits here and then I cut out the toile of the Squinge jumpsuit, just the top though, and this is the collaboration I'm doing with Chrissy of Chrissy Conlay. I took a lot of procrastination over the sizing. If you haven't watched our collaboration video where we look at it together, do have a look because I'm really quite curious about the difference between the sizing and the finished sizes. Um, so anyway, I've gone for it. I've graded out at the waist and you're going to ask me what size aren't you hmm. i've gone for an e grading into a d further up i think yes so an e at the waist graded to a d and i've only cut out the bodice i'm not putting the zip in to start with i will just baste it and pin it because i need to see because obviously you've got this very shaped waist piece at the front like this very pronounced care that's even more than the the uh, bell dress and then you've got oh I accidentally cut two of those out and only needed one um, and then which piece is this this is the back so the back bodice is cut on two pieces because in the finished one you have a gap at the top with a button and then the zip starts sort of about here and goes into the trousers and then the top the front piece is a very unusual shape look because i think because it gathers <coughs> So then there's gathering can you see there the gathering so hmm the twirl is going to be interesting so if I look at that that's the way up it goes and then this all gets gathered but then you've got the shape because of that scoopy waistband so hmm really going to be interested to talk to Chrissy about that once we've both sewn those 12 bits before we go on and make the full thing but it's cut out now and then the last thing I cut out was my first trouser one to try out these trousers sorry it's not bloom from the sun I did the chanterelle pants from so liberated so I went for this view here where it shapes in and it is a, you've got a cuff dart which I really like in trousers and I used a tablecloth so this tablecloth I found in the charity shop I haven't done pockets it's a trouser I've not made before so I've just done the basic bits to see how it sews up and whether I need to make any future adjustments so lots to get on with 
I need to tidy my sewing room because I've just dumped stuff in there and I'm feeling ready to sew again but it has taken as I say a week and a half to feel ready to do it and yeah not like me at all but I am building up to be wearing to go so things to tell you I'm wearing a t-shirt I made last year which stand up and um some wide leg trousers I will put a picture in this is Barra Studios and I can't remember the name of it but it's got like a really interesting bit where you fold a bit in to create like this standout bit and the wide leg trousers I've got on are actually a big four pattern and I made two pairs last year and I quite like the way you've got like a hidden zip in the, all the pleats at the back um, so it is nice actually, the weather is nice enough to crack out some of these outfits but you do need your cardigan or jacket with you. Very soon season two is coming of um, the podcast I do with Jess, so the link is below if you haven't listened to the podcast. There are dates still available to book for virtual social so if you'd like to join there are various dates so the link is below for that. And I've also released a date for an in-person one in August. It was a decision whether there'd be enough interest because August is a busy month for people, but I did do it because there seemed to be enough interest. And now I actually haven't got enough booking. So I am close to saying, not gonna do it. So if you are sat out there and you are wanting to come, please let us know. Even if you need to wait to payday or whatever, let us know that but I am about to send an email out to all the people that normally come because if we don't get a few more people, I can't cover the costs. And I did m and r and I only did an August one because of popular demand. So I'm just not gonna do it otherwise. So there is a July one. We've taken a slightly larger room. So if anyone is thinking, oh, I'd like to come to July one, it's a Sunday. It's like the 6th or 7th of July. Do drop us an email. The email is below that you can send an email to as well. And I remembered I've sewn a so fruity item and I need to go and find it. Hang on. I nearly forgot something there. So again, if you haven't seen my so fruity blog, I do talk about ideas for sewing with colours, not just fruit prints. Um, but I have done my first one. Yes, it is another LB pullover. It's in this nice orange print. It's a French terry. And I did the cuffs in orange, but the neck band in green. So I do like that won't appear on Insta until the date when we have to put them up. But um <coughs> oh sorry. But yeah, I'm really happy with that. This is like a just a summer casual top, really. There is I am planning, I say hopefully, um, some more so fruity sewing but with a week and a half of hiatus we're already midway more than midway two-thirds of the way through june so i don't know whether i will or not but it's been good for me to pause and take a rest i've taken a rest of everything i haven't done anything to do with podcasts socials anything because i just didn't feel up to it um but I am back and getting on top of everything. So I do apologise if you have messaged me and I haven't responded or anything like that. It's just a quick climb back up and get going again. So coming up is a vlog all about the bias binding machine. I'd already recorded that before I got poorly. So that will be coming out and there will be a special reveal in there. And I'm almost ready to film the quilted coat review. It is going to be mammoth. You will need a drink and a snack to get through it because I've got eight quilted coats to talk to you about. So that is coming up really soon. And the next vlog that will definitely come out is my summer plans because... I've been bumbling along and it's time to get out the well, get out the patterns, get out the fabric and let's get excited about what plans are coming. As I mentioned a while ago, Christine and I are doing the Busy Bee Sewing Challenge again. So that will be one in July, one in August and one in September. So that will be coming for the next three months and there's going to be eight of us doing it on YouTube this year. So that's really exciting. 
so I'll do an intro vlog with Christine all about it at the beginning of July but that's very exciting too and of course the results of the springe jumpsuit are to come and all sorts of things now I'm going to put a challenge out to you all I would like to know what you would like to see um, more of so would you like me to see me doing more of the sewing bee made me do it once would you like to see more um, detailed specific pattern reviews would you like to see um, me doing a sew along which I haven't done for a while let me know what you would like to see more of um, or do you want me just to keep doing what I'm doing and who knows what you're gonna get because <laughs> The thing is, most of my inspiration comes from the comments you leave. So please never underestimate that the comments you leave, whether they have impact, because they do. The colour episode was because of comments. The bias binding one is coming because you asked for it. The quilted jacket one is coming. I get so inspired by the comments you all make that it keeps pushing my creativity. So please ask away because I love being inspired by you all now my voice is starting to go so that's the clue when it's time to go sorry it's a short one but i will catch you again soon bye